Um, okay. So, uh, I I'm surprised you guys aren't really sick of this series yet. I mean, I've, I've kind of done literally over 30 episodes of this. But I mean, as long as you guys are supporting the series, I guess, I'll, I'll just keep making more. So uh, today we, we got some very good myths to test out. We got one that I did test out in a, a episode like literally nine months ago. And even in that episode, I, I didn't even complete the myth all the way. So just like always, if you guys have a myth you want me to feature in the next or future episodes, just, just comment it down below. Comment literally anything just so I can get an idea because anything helps to keep this series going. And if you do have a myth that I've, I've literally like never seen before, if it's super unique, it'll have of course more of a chance to be featured. So just, just go comment literally anything down below, anything really helps. Anyways, let's begin today's episode. Jumping straight into the first myth, the first myth is, what happens if someone throws a boogie bomb at you when you are a snowman? This was a very highly requested myth because, I mean, literally, it, it doesn't really happen too much in a game. On my second account, I equipped the sneaky snowman and I threw a boogie bomb at it, and as you can see, it does end up doing the dancing, but when I did throw the boogie bomb while he was crouched, you, you couldn't really see any effect at all. The only thing that you could actually tell is a little disco above and then sometimes you would see the hands kind of like popping out of the sides. I then tested this out one more time with a little bit of a variety where I threw down the boogie bomb, had him stand up, you could see him dancing, he crouched down, and it wasn't moving at all. Into the next myth, the next myth is, do custom matchmaking wins count for your stats? So real quickly, I got my own custom matchmaking code, so leave, leave a quick comment down below as to things I should do with this code, uh, some ideas, and I might try them out. Anyways, I did not have one at the time of this recording, so I went to a live stream of a random live stream and they were hosting custom matchmaking scrims. I did get permission to post this video of his live stream, just a quick clip of it, but as you can see, the player who is about to win, his name is YT Fake. I pulled up this guy's stats minutes before he won and as you can see, after he won, it literally had no effect on his stats at all. YT Fake still had the exact same amount of kills, exact same win ratio, KD ratio, and overall wins before and after he won the custom matchmaking game. As you can tell, the stats are correct because it is for PS4 as this was a PS4 scrimmage game, so don't even try and use that as an excuse. Jumping into the next myth, the next myth is, can you see players as a snowman through a thermal AR scope? This was a very, very highly requested myth because, I mean, it the snowman's supposed to kind of hide your player, right? Now, surprisingly, when I did scope in on my account that had the snowman equipped, you could not see any of his upper body. You could really only see from his kneecaps down when he was standing up. I was actually pretty shocked by this because, I mean, you, you just don't really expect it. I tested to see if you could maybe see like more of the body from like below it, but as you could tell, just you literally only could see his legs when he's standing up, but when he's crouched down, it's as if he's not even in the snowman at all. Going into the next myth, the next myth is, can you redeploy your glider while you are boogie bombed? With glider redeploy being in the game once again, this is kind of like a main item the majority of players do carry around. So when I was boogie bombed and I jumped off a ledge that is obviously high enough to redeploy, you could tell that my, my character would not redeploy at all. This was tested multiple more times to see maybe if there was some way to do it, but sadly when you are boogie bomb, you can't redeploy your glider at all, and you will end up dying to fall damage if you are in a regular match, so be careful in this situation. To prove that this is a high enough place to glide and redeploy, I did jump off regularly, and as you could tell, I was able to pull out my glider. The next myth is, what happens if you jump out of a plane before you reach the spawn island barrier? To test this out first, I had to go to the edge of the map and gather some materials so I could figure exactly where the barrier to the spawn island is. After running for some time, it would not let me run any farther forward, I was able to place one floor ahead, but I couldn't run any farther forward, so I just made a wall about two walls high just to kind of signify exactly where the barrier begins. Now surprisingly, when I was flying the plane, I would get somewhat near and it would automatically turn my plane around. Right in this point of time, I was just holding down W to go forward and it automatically turned my plane. I was unable to go any further than this. So I decided to get somewhat near what I thought that turnaround point was, jump out, and as you can tell, the plane just literally turned and did a straight U-turn on its own. So sadly, you, you can't keep the spawn island through a plane. 
The next myth is, do boom boxes affect loot llamas or will it just destroy the llama? This was a very quick and easy myth to test out. When I tested it in game, I just got a boom box in a regular playground match, threw it down by a llama and surprisingly, it did kill it almost instantly. All of the loot popped out as if it were to just regularly be open, nothing too special overall. I, I didn't really expect much from this. Anyways guys, let me know your opinion on boom boxes because I mean, a lot of people do hate them, a lot of people do love them, they are pretty annoying at times, as well as the brand new bottle rockets. What do you guys think are more OP, boom boxes or bottle rockets? Or do you think both of the items should just totally be removed from the game, just overall? Let me know down below in the comments right now. Jumping into the next myth, the next myth is, what happens when a llama lands on top of a launch pad? This myth was actually very difficult to do and took me literally like 2 hours and multiple games to test out. Not only did I have to find a llama spawn in a tree, I had to also have it land literally right in the center of a floor platform so it would land on top of a launch pad. That was what mainly made this very difficult was that the llama would never be in the center of the floor. I found one that was somewhat going to land on the launch pad so I placed a launch pad down at the ground and then broke the floor it was on and as you can see it landed on the rim, nothing too special, this wasn't good enough for me so I decided to try it once again. Another two games later I found one that was pretty center, the one that I found the best and as you can tell when it landed it had about a foot on the actual bounce pad part. And I mean if this was where a regular player would have landed, the, the player would have launched into the air. So with no doubt if a loot llama lands literally right in the direct center of a launch pad, it, it won't go flying up in the air as all of us do hope. Now if you are lucky enough, you will have a little bit of a glitch where you will jump on the llama and it will actually do the animation as if you were being launched by the launch pad, but your player will just kind of stay in place, he'll do the same animation as if he's just kind of floating on his stomach skydiving. If you guys do want to test this out on your own, let me know if you do get a llama actually in the direct center of the launch pad. I would love if you were to tweet me a picture of that because this was very difficult for me to do. The next myth is, what happens when you go through a rift as a sneaky snowman, will you be able to redeploy your glider? When I tried this out in game, I gave a rift to go to my second account and I equipped the sneaky snowman just to try it out to see from my perspective. The first time I tried this, I did not even mean to get myself in that actual rift, but surprisingly, I guess I was close enough, so we didn't even have to go through the rift at all. As you can see, when you are the snowman, you are able to pull out your glider and you are able to glide around literally as a snowman and it does not get removed one bit. I then tested this out one more time, but this time I actually ran into the rift this time instead of instantly being teleported and the exact same thing happened. I was surprised to see this because usually if you literally pull out even your pickaxe or just a gun, the snowman will automatically be removed and you won't have it anymore. So. For you to be able to glide and go through a rift, I was shocked. Jumping into the next myth, the next myth is, will the boogie bomb effect be removed if you jump on the launch pad before it ends? In game, when I tested this out, I built a platform pretty high up so I would be able to land a lot quicker than as if I were to be on the ground, but when I did jump off the launch pad, the effect was totally gone, I was able to glide around, but the disco bomb would still be above my player. I kept building the platform up higher and higher so I would have more of a chance to land way quicker than as if I were to be going straight onto the ground so I could see if I were to be like still dancing after I landed with the disco above my head. But from what I could see, every time I landed, the disco would be above your player's head, it would be as if you were to be dancing, but the effect just totally gets disregarded after you go off the launch pad. I did try this many more times in different ways, maybe just jumping down and then back up to see what would happen, but every time you go off the launch pad with a boogie bomb effect, it just totally gets removed. This is good to know for in a regular game, if you do need to get out of a situation, you know that you can still glide, but you just have to have that launch pad placed down before you do get boogie bombed. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you are new to the channel. Leave a quick comment down below of a myth you would like me to test in the next or future episodes. Make sure it's unique for a better chance and I will see you guys next time.